Do can join twins both orgasm at once? Man I just wanted to know if they got two paychecks for teaching. It is not common that they share nerves in the same areas. Does anyone know if that has ever happened? I've always heard, I feel and control this and that. I love Reddit, questions I never had, never would ask, yet here I am, fascinated by the question. I guess it depends on where they are joined. If they share the genitals, logically they would feel everything at once. Since it's the nerve endings are sending the same signals to the brain. And it's not cheating as long as everybody can sense. I watched two young women who were joined at the head on TV about 20 years ago. One was really into sex while the other was pretty sex repulsed. They didn't share genitals but the twin not having sex would feel aroused but she didn't like that. So she would read a good book and that would block out the second-hand sex. The only conjoined twins I really know about are Carmen and Lupita and they've agreed to never have sex. I didn't even get that far, was still wondering how they have two stomachs but share a butthole. I've just opened the app. Hmm. Exclamation mark. GIF Op you disgusting bitch Now I'm curious, one of them commits a crime, how do they go to prison? Op is a certified weirdo I had this question before. Also what happened if they have different sexual preferences? Like if one is gay and the other isn't. How does that work? With the TikTok conjoined twins, one is asexual, which presents a different problem. Someone's never watched American Horror Story and it shows. If one of them go brain dead from a bleed or clot, will they remove that head? It won't rot I suppose so maybe not. If so or if one of them breaks their necks I suppose the other one's sympathetic nerves to at least. One heart will work and is enough to keep them alive, but breathing could be an issue if one side of the diaphragm isn't working. If they have their own heads and genitals, the nerves are separate, and it's just a threesome with siblings. If there are separate heads but one set of genitals, then whichever head controls the genital area is the one you are having sex with. So if one wants to raise their hand, the other wants to lower it, who wins? How do they coordinate simple stuff like movements etc? What if one is a morning person, and the other, a night owl? Man, such a hit and miss with this post up votes and down votes are pretty much balanced. It's human nature to be curious about weird things and a person with two heads is a weird thing. Some PPL like myself will ask questions while others will say, leave them alone, but still check. The responses to answer their quite questions. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Eracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.